right, here I am back at the Rayco Road Crossing here in Taylor, Michigan on the Lincoln Secondary Line. I'm here to do a redo, a redo of this uh, crossing tour. I have done one in the past, but it was kind of rushed because there was a train coming. Um, I also want to redo it because there's a couple rare elements of this crossing that might be replaced soon. So uh, I figured to go ahead and just, you know, give this a little bit of a better take. So let's go ahead and get started. So for our first signal right here, this has a Lincoln Industries cantilever, as you can see right here. And then directly attached to the cantilever is the gate mechanism, which is, which is a Western Coal and Haze with this uh, extender arm here to get the, the gate to go around to, get, to clear the cantilever. Um, this has some Rico LED gate lights, I believe, and a wind guard. And then if we come around to the front of the signal, we have the emergency information for Conrail, since Conrail owns this uh, line. This five, uh, dot number is 511029J. And the lights on this signal are two pairs of Safetran incandescent light heads with dialite LEDs shoved in them. And then they sit on a, a Safetran light bracket. The overhead lights feature the same thing. My, hold on. All right, my phone was bugging out. The overhead lights are the same thing, incandescent light heads with LEDs shoved in them. And the bell on this signal, it is a safe train hybrid mechanical bell, which is uh, sadly starting to become a little bit of a rare, a rare breed. Uh, Conrail has been going around to their crossings, replacing some of their mechanical bells that they have set up and replacing them with uh, general signals type 3 e bells. So these could be gone pretty soon. Spoiler alert, the other signal has a hybrid bell as well. So these could be gone here pretty soon, which is why I wanted to give this another go. Here's your back of the signal right here. And we'll go on to the, the next signal, which is pretty much the exact same thing. All right, here's the second signal. And I think in my first tour video, I didn't even cross the street to tour this signal because of the train that was approaching. So this will be the first look at this signal, even though it's the exact same thing. This is another Lincoln Industries cantilever with the gate mechanism right uh, directly attached to it. It's Western Colon Hayes with some Rico LED gate lights and a wind guard. We have safe train uh, incandescent light heads with dial light LEDs shoved in them with a safe train light bracket. We got the same thing up on the cantilever. And we have another safe train hybrid mechanical bell. So it's getting a little windy, so if you can't hear me, I apologize. All right, that is our signal. So let's just go ahead and get ourselves a quick track view. The reason I say quick is because it's like 30 degrees again. Uh, this is looking north towards Detroit. The next crossing down is Superior Road. Right after that is the four-way crossing with uh, North Line and Allen Road. And then this is looking uh, south. The next crossing is Pennsylvania Road. And then if you keep on going further, you'll find yourself in Carlton where this line uh, goes on to the CSX Saginaw sub which is why CSX I-131 and I-132 use this line. They use this line as a bypass to uh, go through uh, Romulus and all that if they don't have any manifest cars. Which, speaking of, this line does only get like three to four trains a day. They get to set those two CSX trains and then a few Conrail locals, or mainly only like one Conrail local, sometimes two, depends on the day. So this line doesn't see much action, but it does have a few crossings uh, with some rare elements. Like there's a few more hybrid bells left on this line that I do have tour videos of. All right, that's gonna do it here from Rayco Road here in Taylor, Michigan. Thanks for watching.